The purpose of today's video will be to review how to create buttons and execute server actions in Odoo's version 12. The first thing we're going to want to look at is identifying the opportunity or the workflow we're going to build. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to create a help desk ticket from the opportunity via a button. So let's take a look at what to do. First thing is let's go to our model, which is the help, de uh, help desk ticket. And we want to understand what our related fields are, required fields. And so it's Kanban state and name. Very simple. And this is the same environment here. Let me just refresh it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we are going to create a server action. And we can type in server action and we'll create a new one here. And the name will be create ticket. The name of the model it will operate on is the lead opportunity. The action to do is going to be to create a new record. And the record we're going to create is a help desk ticket. And here you will see a field. And here we will name Kanban state, for example, on the ticket. And we'll ascribe a value and it just normal. And we'll ascribe a name on the ticket, which is, um, let's just look that up here. Oops. Name field on the display name, I think is the name of it. Make sure, uh, subject and name. So actually it would be, remove that. There it is. And we'll have a Python expression where we will carry over the name of this will be the uh, name of the, actually let's make it the name of the partner, uh, the name of the partner on the ticket. Now, save that. And what you're gonna see is up here, there's something called ID and this is 491. Remember that number? Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go create a ticket on the opportunity. So when I go to my CRM, let's create a test opportunity as an example here. And I'm going to go into the form view and I'm going to create a button here and I'll create the button um, right next to the mark lost. And we'll give it our 491 name. The string will equal action for schedule offer server action and the type, or excuse me, not string, this would be the type, is action and the string will equal uh, create ticket and we'll close that out. And once we save that and we refresh, we'll see up here our create ticket button and it will link back to action ID 491, which when we look at our server action, It would be create, uh, create ticket, and in here you'll see ID 491. So let's uh, let's pull a few other fields here. Let's um, let's go back to the um, my pipeline opportunity and see what other fields we want to pull. We're going to pull the customer ID. We also maybe want to pull the internal note field, which is description here. Perfect. So now we will say uh, uh, on the description of the help desk ticket, we will inherit the value of the record dot description from the opportunity. And another very important one is actually to go to the models of the, uh, not create a model, but go to the uh, opportunity and let's create a model linked to the ticket. Um, or better yet, no. Let's go to the ticket and create a link to the opportunity, which is crm.lead. Help this ticket. So now we will say crm um, op ID opportunity will create a many to one crm.lead 
save it. And now in our server action here, let's link the, uh, on the help desk ticket, we have an opportunity field now, and we will link it to the ID of the opportunity. So to make sure the same ID is the opportunity we're creating it on. Now, let's, uh, let's go test this. Let's go to uh, my pipeline. We have, uh, we'll create a customer called John Doe. And in here, we'll go look at our, um, our help desk, which right now reads zero unassigned tickets. And when I save this, I have test in the description, and I create a ticket. And if I refresh that, there's one new ticket. And if I open it up, it's for John Doe, and the description carries. And if I make the opportunity field visible, that should have a many to one value in it, and it does. There it is. So. Let's look at the CRM. Another cool feature here is to uh, actually go into the view, or better yet, let's actually use Studio to create here, and we'll see all tickets associated with this particular opportunity. And there's our one perfect. What we also want to do is go to the view of XML, customization view, and up here, I want to make this invisible and for the sake of time I'm going to actually go ahead and steal this code from um, just from a sale order. Just give me a second. View XML from the sale stock. Just uh, ATTRS invisible. There we go. Now I'm going to set that there and instead of having the value of delivery count, I'm going to steal the name of this field here and say this field is invisible if the count is equal to zero. That is essentially what I'm saying. So when I go and just to test and I say, um, hi there, customer is Nick K and I add it, I will see that there is nothing here. But when I create ticket, it automatically creates my new ticket window and links my Nick K ticket with the opportunity linked right there. Um, so that is one way to start to think about this. There's another few other things I want to talk about. One is on that server, uh, I, I did not carry the customer name, which I would like to show you how to do that. So the customer field on the uh, on the upper, the new help desk ticket will be the record dot partner ID dot I believe actually would be ID and let's test that to make sure that's true so if I create another ticket creates two and there's the customer carried perfectly if customer had an email I believe that would carry as well and we can test that by going to edit and we'll just say n at n.com go to the ticket create another ticket there it is and ticket number four email carries perfect great so you should have the idea of how that can work um, another thing that's cool is we can make this under uh, make that create button invisible under certain conditions such as um, needs help We'll have that as a stage in our um, needs support, actually. I'd like that better. Needs support can be a stage. And now when I go to configuration, my stages, and I look at needs support, I can see it's ID equal to five. So now what I can do is go to my CRM pipeline. And I want to go to that view. And I can make my create button up here um, just as an example well we can i'm going to steal that bit of code and apply it to the ticket and 
I am going to say I'm going to remove. Um, I'm going to remove this. Um, or better yet, I'm going to say that I could, uh, let me just make sure I get this right here, remove this um, and say invisible if the stage ID is not equal or is not equal to 5. And now what that would do is if I create a new one, nope, it's not correct. Something is, this, I want to remove the create button. If the, actually I'll pull better code up here from something that I did earlier, just to show you. Oops. The, Project open. Sorry about the delay, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this. It's actually identical. Perfect. So I will take that code and I will remove this. And I know I see my mistake now. Of course, um, stage ID does not equal five. Save. Now, what's going to happen when I create? The this one I just created, and so if I go to need support, it's still it's always been available. And if I create ticket object with name up because I actually need to give it a name here. There's my ticket. Um, let's see, edit form invisible. Um, if stage ID is not equal to five, everything looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I can think of is I don't have my the stage ID for need support is incorrect, um, which I don't think it is. If I actually take the ID field, it's five. So this might be a reason to create another video of how to hide uh, the create ticket button if well it looks hidden now for some reason need support and now it's available ah maybe I just needed to refresh the database that is a common mistake so test now we can see I have this ticket here no nothing here and if I say oh sir John Doe needs support my tickets, my buttons created, I can create ticket. And just like that, I have a new ticket created with all the necessary information in my pipeline. If you have any additional questions on how this works or you want to learn more about how to make this work, um, let me know and I'll be more than happy to jump in with you. Thanks so much and uh, have a great day.